Så jag bara var förbannad av som jag sitter och äter så. Jag har tagit med då och jag. Kan jag då ha gått slip eller fått det med just kansium? Vad är det jag går nu? Det är en seriös reasoning, people. Det är en seriös, seriös reasoning. Jag måste förstå. Så det här är basically inte en advice financial. One. And this is based on um, personal experience, you know, with um, what has happened to people close to me. All right. No. National Commercial Bank in Jamaica. I strongly advise people to either remove your funds. I do not bank with them. Right? I strongly advise that you do not bank with National Commercial Bank in Jamaica. Or if you have money in there, remove your money. Do your research on a bank in Jamaica and remove your money from National Commercial Bank. Right? No. The other day, right, Megs had um, a large sum of money in the bank, right? So she went into the bank and they told her to use a machine in the bank. See? So she used the machine in the bank. She used one of their computers in the bank. Inside the bank, you know, they instructed her. She went to make some query and they instructed her to sign on to a machine, to a computer, excuse me, a computer in the bank, excuse me. A computer in the bank, right? After she used the computer in the bank that they instructed her to use, yeah? A few days after, all our money, was taken out of her account. Now, they said they were going to investigate. Yeah? They completed the investigation did not call her to tell her the findings. However, when she went to the bank, they said to her, she clicked on or she um got caught by a, a, a spam or, or, or something of the sort. So they're telling her that she, she clicked onto an email that was sent to her email. None of, not, 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 nothing like that. Right? She didn't click on any email. But here the clincher. They cannot explain to her how someone tried to use her credit card. So they're saying it's an email that was sent to her. Right? That caused the, 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 the fraudulent act. But they can't explain how this, the, 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 um, the person that took out her money tried to use her credit card. Right? Now, you would think that for the amount of money, or it doesn't even matter the amount of money that a person lose, you know, you would think that the bank would do more to assist in, 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 in investigation, meaning reporting the matter to the police, the fraud squad or whatever. They're telling Megs that she must go to the fraud squad. Remember, you're, banking with, you're a customer for a bank. And someone steal your money, stole your money, took your money out of the bank. See? And the bank is telling you that you must go to the fraud squad. You see? No information, you know, not even like a report to say, here's a report that we did, and this is our finding, so take this to the fraud squad. Nothing of the sort. They, they're telling Megs she must go to the fraud squad. And this is not just Megs, this is other people that we know personally that this happened to. And it's the same result. 
So why the government is not doing more to protect people's um, money in the bank? But yet still you are told to put your money in the bank and you cannot keep a certain amount of cash on you, on your person. You cannot have over a million dollars cash in Jamaica. Is it illegal? It is illegal. But they are telling you to put your money in the bank and you cannot even protect your money in the bank. You see? Now what if I had my money in this bank? At least they're not telling me, sir. And what is shocking is they can actually see the account that the money was transferred to because obviously if someone is going to transfer money from one account to another account there must be some authentication done. You mean that at the National Commercial Bank of Jamaica you, your company is so loose that someone can just click on an email and just transfer funds from one account to another account, no steps. So you don't see the bank that the money was transferred to? There is no ID on that account that the money was transferred to? So why people are bank with National Commercial Bank? And the other day I saw a video with a man on the internet saying the same thing. Nobody cannot give account, give an account for people's money when they steal people's money from the accounts at the at National Commercial Bank. So people you don't have to listen to me. You see? This is not a financial, I'm not a financial advisor. But if it happened to you, just say you did hear me talk about it. Do not bank your money at National Commercial Bank because in my view, if you lose your money, they cannot give you any proper answer to it. Or they're not going to refund your money to you. So do not bank your money with National Commercial Bank. So Tico saying the same thing. So Tico said, yesterday one female crying over $200,000. No, 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 no. So Mr. Andrew Wilness and, the, and, the, and the, um, the financial sector. When I go just allow the bank for chop the people them. When I go allow these people in the bank them for chop the people them and then people cannot do anything about it. Then when someone snaps, what am I going to say? Someone will have the last money and put it in a national commercial bank and that person lose his or her money and snap. What am I going to do? What, are, what, are, what, if, what if Megs didn't have other ways to pay her bills? And what if Tico people or the young man that was on the internet, what if people had no other ways how to pay bills and take care of them children? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Them not get kicked out of them house. Them not get charged late fees for mortgage or mortgages. Car notes. Late payment on car. If can't work, people. They need to shut down the National Commercial Bank. Mr. Andrew Wallace, they need to shut down the National Commercial Bank, brother. I instruct the, 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 the financial department to, to shut down National Commercial Bank. National Commercial Bank people, do not put your money in there, in my view. Don't put your money in there. You get chopped. It better, you, it, it better as camera chop you. You know, say, are you go, you know, get yourself, you know, I try look at money and as camera chop you. Then no, you, 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 you go into this place, you sign up forms, you give, you give an ID, them authenticate your IDs, because you have more than one ID, you need a recommendation. All of these things you need to open an account in Jamaica at the banks. But yet still, 
someone is transferring your money to another account and them cannot track down the person or persons for the other account that the money was transferred to. When you go in there and need an account, they're going to tell you that you need a, a letter from a, 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 a recommendation from, from, from people. You need all manner of things to sign up to get an account in Jamaica. See? You need proper ID. You need government ID. So how is it that your money is being transferred to an account? So what? Them not have no validate valuable information on that account where them can share or track down such person. We are taking two hundred and three hundred and a million dollar and your two million dollar. Hmm? Or should we believe that it's strangers taking out the money out the accounts or the or is the people that we are work at the bank? Because if it were strangers or outsiders taking the money, yeah? Me think so them not find it and track down the people then. But obviously, or in my view, when we have people on the inside either creating accounts and transferring money to these accounts, that's why we can't say anything because if we don't say anything, it's going to look bad upon the, 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 um, the bank itself. So when the findings lead Uno. Right, and this is just what I am thinking. When I find out, say, the accounts were set up from insiders, you know, you know, you know, maybe just let them go, fire them under the quiet, and don't tell the people them what really happened. Because when I know, say, it's going to scare people to put their money inside there. If people find out, say, you know, in the bank, I set up account and I transfer people money to those accounts. Because which outsider have an account where you don't have the information? And proper identification for such person. How is that even making sense? Yeah? Y'all gonna tell the lady that she 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 clicked on an email that was sent to her. I wanna can't provide no proof of such. I wanna can't provide that evidence to the person. Yeah? On a key I show the report say, okay, here is the email that you clicked on. You went fishing. On a key I show that. On a key I explain how is it that she went fishing but somebody tried to use her credit card. All of the woman the woman see her money in the bank like a f um, just like a day or so and, and the next day the woman money gone. Every dollar. Every dollar. Every single dollar. So let me ask you an account, National Commercial Bank. It's so easy to get in a phone system. So it's easy to get in a phone system that somebody can just send send an email and, and a person click on it and just do a transfer of such large amount. One and I have like different steps and passwords and and um, security code and all them something there. In this modern time, when Andrew Wilness is advocating for cashless system, NCB banker tell me, say, you don't have a system where if someone is trying to go into your account, you get a, a, a code on your cell phone. You do not get a code in your email or a code on your cell phone to say, it is you who is conducting this transaction. In this time, yeah. When the government are tell we say they want a cashless system. So everybody go get chopped then. People, listen to me. Keep on the money out on the yard. When they get on the pier, cash on the money and keep on the money. Yeah. Jamaica are ready for no cashless system. You see? Jamaica is not ready for any cashless system. Because that'd be a chopping zagwan. You can imagine you put all your money in the bank. Yes, it, uh, imagine this. Imagine you sell a place, you sell a property, and you make one thirty million dollars, and you have your money in a national commercial bank. And when you go to your bed in the night, you leave thirty million dollars in your account and buy your wake up at zero, zero. 
And now they're going to tell you that you went fishing and cannot show you any proof of such findings. So where are the sanctions, are the penalties, are the investigation that is done by the Jamaican government against National Commercial Bank? Mr. Andrew Wolness, Nesta Mabergin, because now it hits home. So Mr. Nesta and, 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 and Andrew Wolness and all our own people were on social media, you know, Care about the message to the people in charge of this area of the government. And ask them why is there no investigation done on the National Commercial Bank? Because if somebody comes out and say anything about Mr. Andrew Wolness, you know, send police go find them. So why when the citizens them crying about getting robbed by by these institutions? Why is it that you're not taking any actions? DJ Pensiman is saying NCB is proven to be somewhat reliable. Somewhat reliable, we are. We are talking about. I wish world you live in. Reliable? Which world you live in? Me not just a woman just wake up and see her money. Garbage her money in the account and wake up on the money in the account. When she wake? Or next day when she check? Which is reliable? National Commercial Bank for lockdown. Our sank the government need to sanction National Commercial Bank. Or find them. Wanna need the government wanna need to get fined. When people take out people money out of them account, I don't tell people about say it's their fault. I don't care show no evidence. How is the people them fault? Telling people about they went fishing. Alright, so how many people are not gonna tell that? Let's say y'all found out that one or two or three persons, because everybody is saying it's the same report to not give them. So them went fishing. Right? And phishing means people them click on an email and gave out their information. Right? So since you don't realize that that is an issue, right? How is it that you don't start set it up where if a person is going into an account to transfer or transferring from an account to account, you are required to give some form of contact where you receive an, an, a, a code, where you receive a code? How come you not set up where the person receive a code? To their emails or a code to their cell phones. And you have to put in this code to do any transfer. Everybody is doing that. Why is this not done in Jamaica? At these institutions? To protect the citizens them. We're not going to wait until somebody snaps. You see? That's not going to do enough. Because it, it rough when a person work hard, works hard and put the money into account, into the account, and then you thief the people the money, or the people them lose their money, and then you tell them foolishness that they went fishing. It's rubbish, and someone is gonna snap. I'm telling me, I want you know, you don't think that people people are gonna take this much longer? Go, let me tell you something. Every day, bucket I go well. One day. The belly must drop out. We don't keep on taking Jamaican people them for some some idiots until the people them start turning against us. Keep on messing with the people them. 
you know, tolerance. Tolerance level. You see? Because any time a revolution starts in Jamaica, we don't can stop it, you know? Because we don't push the people them. We don't push the people them. A person go have them last $200,000 in an account and wake up and no money. And, and the worst thing is, we don't, we don't give back the people them, them money, one, because obviously it was a fraudulent act. See? That was committed against the person. So we're not responsible for the people their money. When I tell the people when I go investigate, I want to take three, four months to investigate. Three, four months to investigate. Six months, some people are wait to hear an answer about their money. So why NCB Bank is still in business? Okay? Who, who, who is running NCB Bank? Who is so powerful in the country that people can be losing their money in this way? And no one is, no media house is reporting on it. No, I don't see it. Not, I don't see it. I see a man on the internet a ball him eye out. So the man tell him, say, you know, them not find nothing illegal, no, no illegal activities done to him account. Right? So, I saw Mr. Leeching powerful that not even the media can report on this. We don't see it in the gleaner. We don't see it in the star. We don't see it in the observer. Why is this not on the front page of the of the of the of the of the, of the um the media the media outlets them why is it not on the front page why is it not on the landing page of the of the glean and the star and the observer and these companies these media outlets why nobody not talk about it How come somebody had transfer money from one NCB account to another NCB account? I wanna talk about a fish. People go fishing. <laughs> eh? So it's what kind of account that set up on phone system? How is it that we don't have um, bots set up on the system so people can transfer money to these bots account? Are these fraudulent account? So we don't check on the system and find out what kind of account set up on the system. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> National Commercial Bank. You all have system. You all have a system that you do not recognize that there are some illegal or bad accounts set up on the system where people are transferring money to. So on a system was take down. On a system compromised. National Commercial Bank, Jamaica. Your system is compromised if the only answer you have for people when they lose their money is they went fishing. Where is the evidence of that? And how do you explain outsiders getting a person's personal credit card information? How do you explain that to your customers? How do you explain outsiders getting Personal information to try and use someone's credit card. 
And the only reason why the credit card didn't go through is because the account was already dried out. They transferred everything out the account and was trying to steal and still try to use a credit card. So how do you explain that? How do you explain a woman who, a woman comes into your bank? You instructed the woman to go and use a computer in the bank. And as soon as this woman leaves the bank, her account is dried out. And her credit card is compromised. How do you explain that National Commercial Bank? The woman had no problem. The woman don't use no email. The woman don't use no online business. But as soon as the woman comes into your UWI University of the West Indies office and you instructing her to use a computer in your office, this woman money totally wipe out her account. How you explain that? How you explain that? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You don't know me a lot more already. You don't know, you know why I take set pound on the National Commercial Bank. Because my company internet asks them about me. When I take set pound money, I take set pound good. From the cross my path. National Commercial Bank. You don't want to try me. Yeah? Make sure. When Miss Meg will come back to your bank, you don't have our money. Me I want you know. Because me I go go to every ends of Jamaica and make the people them know say, do not bank with National Commercial Bank. You don't know to try me. Because now me have evidence on a rub. People money out of them account, whosoever do it, and National Commercial Bank is incapable of protecting your account or your money. No, me have evidence. Me have evidence. For sure, the people must not bank with National Commercial Bank. So, I think you want to try me. I don't think gonna, because we go past stage. We go past stage and hold up on the logo and tell the people them, do not bank with this bank. Stop playing me. Stop ramp with me. You don't want that leeching. Because at least people are going to open them eyes and know so people are getting robbed in our bank. Blind. Siding people by telling them to go use computer in a bank and then the people have money gone. So when I talk about when I go conduct another investigation, you don't know what try me. So make sure when Miss Meg will come back to the bank, you don't have the woman money back in her account. It's a hell and poor house. Yeah? Hell and poor house. I'm going to hold a placard outside our doors. I'm going to get some people and round up. Everybody will lose money now in the bank. And we are come out on the bank door. Come, come, make up nice. One system need to shut down if one cannot protect people's money. Because the government can't force people to put money into the banks and then the people they might lose their money and they can't do anything about it. You know, stupid. You don't think that's how people money go? You know what people have car notes to pay, mortgages to pay. You know what people have to feed them pitney and send them pitney go to school and buy food. And somebody can't sleep at night knowing say they may wake up in the morning and the morning not into the bank. Mr. Andrew Wellness, where you do, brother? 
You can't have such an established institution in a Jamaica. And people are lose their money and not turn a deaf ears. You can't do that. So for now, I'm advising people, do not bank your money at National Commercial Bank. And Mr. Leaching, you better overall your system to stop the bleeding here. Because it starts tonight. This bleeding starts tonight. And it's going to continue. And I'm going to continue to campaign against National Commercial Bank. Jamaica. If we don't give back Miss Megu our money. By the time she come back to the bank. Just know that.